Hey folks, it's Dr. Sean Baker here. Did you know that according to the World Health Organization that an estimated 149 million children under five years of age suffer from stunting? What is stunting and why is it important? What can you do to prevent it? In this video, we're gonna talk about some of the major causes of stunting as well as a few simple actions you can take to avoid that with your child. I'm sure to stick around to the end where I'll talk about you know kind of an overview of what this means. But to start things off, let's define what stunting is. So first of all, stunting is when a child lacks proper nourishment to grow. A child is identified as stunted when he or she is too short for his or her age. This indicates that their development has been hindered either physically or both physically and cognitively. It should be noted stunning is different from wasting. Stunning is basically a low height for their weight, whereas wasting tends to be a low weight for their height. Stunning can lower your child's IQ point by as much as 11 points, damage their organs, their immune system, and brain function and increase their chance of dying in comparison to non-stunted children. But what causes a stunning in the first place? Let's go over a few key causes and steps that you can take to properly nourish your child in all areas. First of all, there are many proteins and fats, vitamins and minerals essential for your child to grow. These include saturated fats and proteins found in mother's milk as well as many meat-based foods as a child begins to grow beyond infancy. Indeed, studies clearly show that the less meat a country consumes, the more likely they are to have lots of children with issues of stunting. And alternatively, countries that consume a lot of meat tend to have very few cases of stunting. Meat is easily digested and absorbed. Uh, the proteins and collagens for growth and repairs, protective saturated fat and monounsaturated fats are able to help create and repair cells and essential vitamins and minerals uh, that are necessary to transport oxygen and nutrients throughout the body, including meat regularly in your child's diet will significantly reduce their chances of stunning. But meat isn't the only factor that contributes to healthy growth. <laughs> Having access to clean water, also vital, parasites and bacteria that mix with contaminated water can induce chronic infections that can inhibit nutrient absorption and halt the proper growth of your child. Number two, uh, deficient psychosocial interactions. Food is not the only factor that influences proper nourishment. Children also need social, emotional, and psychological support that helps them to continue to grow appropriately. Connecting and interacting with others carves and regulates many neural pathways in the brain and supports various motor skills and facial expressions. When a child has little stimulation or bonding with others around them, they lack those vital tools. Taking time to bond with your child and put him or her in various environments where they interact with others will support and grow these pathways in infants and toddlers. Poor sanitation, a poor hygiene practice, Practice, such as not showering or bathing or having few resources in which to, uh, which to clean clothes properly can encourage infections, parasites, and fungal overgrowth, which can then lead to nutrient deficiencies that can lead to stunted children. And research reinforces the notion that lacking proper sanitation resources is one of the key causes of stunting. Simply washing your hands with soap and clean water can be an effective way to reduce your chances of your child's being stunted. Now, it should be noted that these causes of stunting don't exist in a vacuum. A child who has little access to clean water may also have few resources for healthy meat-based nutrition. A child who lacks social connections may also not have proper medical care or access to chronic interventions, having proper um, Social connections, parental love and encouragement, access to nutritious foods, especially meat, and clean water and regular hygiene practices are all simple steps that go a long way in preventing stunning. Now, much of what I've described, you know, most people think, well, this is third world country stuff. But in reality, we have many child children here in the United States that are lacking access to good quality nutrition. And in fact, some of the school districts are starting to even encourage nutrition, which is deficient by taking meat out of the schools. We see that in places like New York. Uh, the city of Edinburgh in, in Scotland has basically banned meat from all schools. These things all will have very negative long-term consequences on those children. And so as parents, it is, a, it is our duty to ensure those things do not proliferate. We need to minimize and reverse those things. Get meat back in the schools. Get your child back on healthy diets. It is very important for the sake of uh, future generations, our children, their children, their children's children, that we all are very aware of these, these issues. And so... Remember, feed your kids a nutrient-dense diet that features meat and other animal foods, and you're going to give your kid a leg up, and certainly they won't be at risk at stunning. Whereas other kids who are voluntarily eschewing uh, animal products to go on a plant-based diet for various reasons, whether they think it's protecting the environment, whether they think it is saving animals, both of which are complete utter nonsense, are actually harming their children. Don't fall for that. 
if it's you, and if you know somebody, try to convince them to, to, to take care of their children. So we, we need more healthy people with strong minds rather than more you know, mentally ill, sick people, which, is, which causes society itself to uh, ultimately decay and collapse. All right, guys, we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thanks.